Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my another video and in this video we are going to talk about how we can use GitHub Actions to deploy the Node.js microservice to AWS instance. So in the last video we have already seen how to do the same thing with the GitLab. Now we are going to try the same thing with the GitHub. So in the last video we were using GitLab CI that is helping us to write a CI CD pipeline. And now we are going to use GitHub Actions that will allow us to create a workflow and deployment pipelines. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to use GitHub Actions and what are the GitHub Actions? I have already talked about it. Like uh, what is really GitHub Actions? This is like a GitHub managed actions and this is available on the GitHub. What it does is it allows you to create a jobs and the run the workflow. So you can create a create a workflows and inside that you can create a different 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 jobs. And for the Node.js projects, Node.js projects, what are the workflows like this? So what it is doing is it is just like the, the workflow uh, action name and these jobs are like, let's say for the Node.js project, the jobs will be check the dependencies, check the Node.js version. Uh, ch check the test cases, check the coverage criteria and uh, run the migrations and then build the project, deploy the project. All these will be jobs and you will be using these actions. These are predefined actions which will help you to check out the code, set up the node and set up the environment. So in the GitLab CI, we were specifying the Node.js image like, okay, I'm, I'm going to use a Node.js Docker image. Here we are going to use these predefined actions, checkout actions, setup node actions and deploy actions, synchronize actions and all. If you look into the simple work, uh, simple action, workflow action, action.yml, what it contains? It contains this push strategy. So whenever you push this pipeline or this job will trigger and what are the job? Jobs, check bat version. It can be anything. <coughs> First of all, it runs on the Ubuntu latest and then these are the steps. So first what it will do is it will do the, it will use this action, which is already defined checkout action. So it will like try to, what it does is it will, because you are going to run the managed runner. So how this, all these things happens, even when we were doing GitLab, we were not specifying our runner. So this is your repo. When you do push, what happens? GitLab provide its own runner. I mean, that's nothing but a system or a Docker container that runs your command. Okay. Similarly, GitHub also provides your runner. That is this, these are like GitHub runners. <laughs> and what they do is they do the same thing they check out your code and do the installation run the test and then when you want to deploy they will take care of that these are like shared runners you can also spin your own uh, dedicated organization level or your personal level a runner but that's not really needed for the demos because we are using the shared runner provided by the github or the gitlab so these runners are actually running your commands. So here, what we are going to talk about is, let's say what the checkout will do. Checkout will try to do the git actions. will try to clone, get the fresh code from the latest commit, set up node. This is going to install the latest version of node 14. And then it is going to run these commands, npm install. And this is like the bats version. It is going to return you the, the bats is actually npm module, its version. Okay, so this is like how it is done. I mean, I'm just, we are trying to understand what this GitLab or action.yml contains, right? <clears throat> Event is on push. It can be a merge request, pull request, or when you push something on a particular branch, or when you just push any commit to the branch or repository. So currently it's push. That means anything you add on any branch and push it to remote, it will execute. So first of all, step one is it is checking out the repository, installing node, 
installing the bat and then giving you the version <coughs> and this is how you can actually visualize the whole setup here i will talk about these actions here you can visualize all the actions which are happening in your repository and here you will specify your workflow so there is a dedicated repository for it it's not like okay you put the action.yml or anywhere you put a dot github inside that workflows is a directory inside that you can specify your yml's and they can be anything setup.yml initialize.yml test.yml deploy.yml so here same as the gitlab we have a github secrets github secrets will contain the runtime environment or secret keys like aws access key aws secret key some private key or uh, ec2 instance username host name all these will be configured in the github secrets i think i have set up some secrets here inside settings you can go to the variables and secrets for the actions and these are my secrets which i have created for this demo host ec2 host target directory where i'm going to copy the code ec2 ssh key okay now let's come back here now when you do the push i can i can have a simple action that when you push to the main branch i'm going to trigger all the workflows so inside a workflow you can have different different yml files like okay setup.yml deploy.yml and there can be a one more we can have is setup and push i mean i'm just talking about the reference here we are doing copy or push the code <coughs> and then deploy it's simple okay so these are simple workflows we have <laughs> That inside this workflow we have all these three YML files and what these YML files we need to have and why we can put everything in a single YML files also but to isolate these different steps and different actions we can have a different different YML file setup it will just to uh, check out and install node.js and check the test cases run the check the build or you can check the prettier command if you have npm run prettier npm run lint npm run install right all these things will be done in the setup copy once everything is good okay build is happening then it's okay that we can now push or copy the code to the remote server so because it's an ec2 instance now you should be able to copy the code and to copy the code again we need to do ssh minus i the remote instance and we need a private key which is available in the gitlab github secrets okay and then deploy is nothing but ssh to the remote instance and run a shell script like it will be nothing but a bash deploy.sh okay that will just restart the server based on the copied code the latest code which we have copied this is the simple workflow which i have created so let's talk about that so let's see in the code oh, what do we have so this setup I mean, what do you see here is on push branch main. And these are the actions checkout action and setup node action. These are the two actions we are using. So it is using the node.js and second action is setup node. So node version is 16.x and it is doing npm install and npm run build if present. Okay, simple thing. So when you push the code, it will just push the code to the main branch it will run this job build job okay it uses the ubuntu latest so this is nothing but a uh, github runner so this thing is running on the ubuntu instance but provided by the github we are not using our own runner and these two actions are running so let's see that i will show you the existing action <coughs> we should rename it to build a setup so check out what it is doing if you see the the console logs it is doing nothing but it is trying to clone your code i will try to zoom it then it is a setting up the node because we need node.js version 
these are the environment variables it is doing npm install npm ci and then npm run build because yes it present there in the code so it will and it is it is a package json script and then it's completing the job so what is the setup setup is just doing okay create a node environment do the npm install and do the build if this everything is works fine then we are good we can just execute the other actions so after that we have a second job which is push and for the push we need to have an access to the ec2 instance or we should be able to do the sync rsync or scp is the command in the linux scp or rsync which copies your code to the remote instance but there are already uh, perfect actions are already defined advantage of github actions are that there are there are already existing actions are available which are doing the task so let's say if i want to copy the code to the ec2 instance then either i have to do ssh and then i have to do scp or rsync command manually but there is a github actions which will do for it it for me i just need to specify the target directory and these all these environment variables are already there in the secrets so i need a private key remote host and remote user this is the only information needed for this particular action it will take care of the it will take these environment variables and it will try to copy your code into this target directory that's it so this is the push uh, what actions is doing and then deploy <coughs> deploy is just another thing because what we are going to do in deploy nothing nothing rocket science it's same checkout and then here we are just going to run some command and the commands are because the code is already copied we are just going to ssh to the instance so we got the private key and then we are going to use this private key to ssh to this instance and then once we are able to enter into the system we should be just running this bash command for this directory sync.sh <coughs> and what magic do we have in sync.sh nothing we are just running a simple commands this is a script and earlier i was facing the issue that node just not found so we need to specify the nvm directory for the bash script okay get the nvm from there so you will be able to access to the node.js on the remote ec2 instance go to this directory install dependencies do the build i mean it's optional we already built the code but we can do it again because this is a another remote instance and then npm to reload because code is already there we can just reload the node.js process without restarting it i mean without without stopping the ec2 instance we can just reload and it will restart your application there so this is a simple demo and what demo uh, it is talking about is just like okay you have the code code is the existing code i'm using which is nothing but a node.js type script starter app which is using javascript typescript and module aliasing and this is my package json i mean you can pick any project there is no harm it contains all these scripts okay build deploy we are running it manually pm to reload ecosystem config but you can just use the lint command also and put a different job in your github actions and doing linting you can do the test because currently there is no test so i'm not running test so let's see this uh, if i just do some man commit get and get push so i'm trying to push to the main branch so if you see here we have specified on push strategy to main branch on push what all branches you wanted to track here i am just specifying okay i wanted to track the main branch so here you can specify the okay which branch push rule is applied and then i am just running these jobs setup push and deploy so let's see one by one how they are running <coughs> so 
so here it is app setup and it is running the setup task it's kind of already completed looks like so it's doing nothing but check out setting up the node doing npm install doing npm run build and then just completing the task and there are other tasks we have is app setup then push workflow so if you try to understand the push workflow we are already using some predefined action for this so let's see the logs so here these are the logs deploy copy to the server and you can see here the actually the copy is happening okay it is using this ssh deploy and it is getting this okay we need to do ssh to this and it is actually our sync it is applying and these are the updates these are the like okay i mean it is using this github sync policy and it is incrementally updating the directory with the new changes and you can see rsync com command is finished that means it is doing rsync internally that github actions but you don't need to write any command for it and then finally we have this deploy which is nothing but go to uh, i mean just do the ssh and run particular shell script it's the shell script is the easiest way to run multiple commands you don't need to worry about <coughs> so what it is doing so if you look into the command what we are doing is first we got the private key from the environment variable we did a assign the permissions and doing ssh and then doing npm install the shell script already started executing we did npm install we did build and then we are just reload reloading the application so it is just restarting the server and our job is complete right so this is a, the last job we have is the deploy so this is how all these things connected with one another and i can just do pm to list i can just log into the server and i can just get the pm to logs so the application is started right now you just need to expose this 3000 port from the ec2 instance and that's it you saw you should be able to access your apis and available to the outside world so this is how we do things with the github i have already discussed about gitlab here we have created this specific shell script so once the code is copied you can deploy it first we are doing ssh and then executing this shell script here you can run multiple commands in the bash it's like i am just running a single command sync.sh and inside sync.sh i have everything which i need to do npm install npm run build go to the directory export the nvm directory and ex expose the the nvm location so that i will have access to the node npm commands and then pm to reload make sure that pm2 is installed globally otherwise you can just do is npm run deploy because <coughs> there may be a case that pm2 you haven't deployed installed globally so you can do npm run deploy and in the package json deploy is nothing but the same command pm2 reload because i have pm2 installed in my dependency so it should be there on the node modules if you have if you don't have it globally installed do it through the package json okay so this is how things works with the github we are just writing a workflow and actions action yml and using these predefined actions checkout actions setup actions and here in the push i use this uh, ssh deploy really simple because i don't need to write anything and then in deploy i'm doing ssh to that private server because i have a host name username password and and i'm just running this sync.sh bash script on to the ec2 remote instance that is nothing but restarting the instance once your code is copied okay that's it uh, i have for this demo now we will go back to our uh, original project which is pnpm workspace this i was covering just to know everyone okay how you can do ci cd basic things to deploy a node.js simple microservice to gitlab through gitlab and github to your aws instance or digital ocean